Mission 2. The goal is to gather information from free building, and most of the map is considered paved and the city area. Turn 1, we started to capture the closest objectives, and the Razorback attempted a shoot on one of the rocks, but it missed. Turn 2, we both captured the targets, and we kept moving towards the middle building. Turn 3, the crossbow was shooting the Star Slayer, but missing. The Star Slayer and the Razorback shooting back on the crossbow but missing. Turok was shooting on the Razorback and one of them was hitting with a heavy medium laser. Warning, armor breached. The Kawari was shooting the rock but missing, such as the Raksasha, which is hitting with one large boost laser, which destroyed the leg of the rock. And the Razorback was shooting the rock as a secondary target but missing it. Turn 4. The cavalry was finishing off the rock with SRMs. The Raksasha was shooting the carry on crew and damaging with the Rotary 5. And as a secondary killing another rock with three medium pulse laser. One rock was shooting the razor back but missing. The other four rock shooting the Raksasha and damaging with four heavy medium laser. And the carry on crew also shooting and damaging the Raksasha with one medium pulse and one streak six. The elemental missing the Razorback, such as the Razorback missing the crossbow. The crossbow damaging the Star Slayer with six AP goes. And the Star Slayer shooting back on the crossbow and damaging with one large laser and one medium laser. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. Turn five. The elemental was damaging the Star Slayer with one SRM and the laser. The crossbow was hitting the Star Slayer with 15 AP goes. The Star Slayer failed the PSR check and the pilot fainted. Armor breached. The Razorback was shooting the crossbow with 3 medium laser. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended the Star Slayer was shooting the carry-on crew and damaging with one ERPPC. The Raksasha also damaging the carry-on crew with one large pulse laser and two medium pulse laser. And there was two center torso crit, one engine, one gyro. And the left torso was also blown off and the carry-on crew was destroyed. The Raksasha was shooting as a secondary target the rock and damaging with two medium pulse laser. The free rock was shooting the Raksasha and damaging with three heavy medium laser. The carry-on crew was shooting the Raksasha and damaging with two medium pools and two streak six. Armor and the breached. PSR was uh, passed. And the cavalry was shooting one of the rocks and damaging with SRMs. Turn six. The cavalry was shooting the rock and killing it with SRMs. The Raksasha was shooting another rock and damaging with one large pulse and two medium pulse laser. The secondary target shooting the third rock and killing it with one rotary 5 and two medium pulse laser. The free rock was shooting back on the Raksasha and damaging with three heavy medium laser. And the PSR is fast. The elemental swarming the Star Slayer. And the Star Slayer pilot is still unconscious. Meanwhile, the Razorback was shooting the crossbow and damaging with free medium laser. And uh, it caused an auto shutdown on the Razorback. Meanwhile, the crossbow was shooting the Razorback and damaging with 14 AP goes. The PSR failed and this pushed the Razorback into fourth retreat. Turn 7. The rock was missing the Raksasha. The Raksasha was damaging the crossbow with one large pulse, one medium pulse, and one rotary 5. Warning. 
Crossbow was damaging the Raksasha with 14 AP goes, which uh, pushed the Raksasha into force retreat, but also the PSR was failed, and due to the fall there was a double crit on the leg. The cavalry was killing the last rock with SRMs. The elemental was blowing off the arm of the Star Slayer with the Swarm attack. The Star Slayer is still unconscious, but also in force retreat. Turn 8. The Raksasha was trying to stand up, but failing and with the fallback uh, losing an arm. The cavalry was shooting the crossbow and damaging with SRMs, and there was head hit. Head damaged. The elemental doing minor damage on the cavalry. In the wide, the crossbow was hitting the cavalry with AP goes, and one hit causing a double six engine crit, which is exploding the cavalry right above the last target objective. Enemy unit destroyed. The match ended with three to one for the Ravens. As for the last two turn, there was no unit for the Federated Suns to block the capture. In the other match, the result was 1-1 between the Wolf and Burita forces. Meanwhile, the last match was an auto-victory for the mercenaries as the Jade Falcon forces didn't show up.